my name is uh, Susolio, or my nickname is Susolio, and my real name is Martin. And uh, I'm from Denmark, and uh, I'm like 23 years old. I'm an electrical uh, technician, and uh, yeah, I work with electronics for a living as well. So doing a lot of uh, uh, prototype building and uh, early series production stuff. I started overclocking back in 2010. Uh, or nine, uh, yeah, right around that time. Uh, and uh, yeah, like, uh, yeah, with liquid nitrogen in like 2011, 2012, stuff like that. In the beginning, I started overclocking to get like more efficiency for some video editing I was doing for a school project. Uh, it wasn't going that well, so. Uh, and then there was a competition and I got into competitive overclocking and really never looked back. Uh, the highlights of my overclocking career has probably been uh, MOA, uh, some uh, world records when I was the first person to hit 2000 core or 2000 memory on a graphics card. Uh, stuff like that has definitely the highlights. The big difference between when I started and uh, now is the way Intel CPUs is overclocked and uh, the, how they work. So in the past, Every CPU could be overclocked, and uh, now there's only a, a very limited amount of CPUs that we can overclock. And uh, it's getting a lot more competitive these days, so we have a, yeah, it's a little lot bigger challenge, and uh, there's a lot more stuff going on, uh, a lot more stuff you can overclock to achieve, uh, like different competitions, that's not just a ranking anymore. I think the future of overclocking is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be like a lot more competitions, uh, there's a lot of challenges coming up uh, with the way we do things, uh, with the uh, marketing of uh, products. So we have a lot of challenges uh, coming our way. And uh, there's going to be a lot more mobile stuff as well. Uh, like ARM processors and uh, both for phones, but also development boards uh, because they're easier to modify and work with. Uh, uh, the hardware industry is always changing, so it's kind of uncertain what is going to happen in like five years or so we only really know what's going to be like the next year or something. <laughs> That's a tough one. Don't. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> uh, it's addictive. <laughs> My advice for new overclockers is uh, get a decent overclocking series motherboard uh, that has uh, proper memory support uh, and uh, find out if you like 2D benchmarking and 3D benchmarking and uh, yeah, do the stuff you like and not what everybody else is like doing but find out what you like to do and do that and uh, then move forward because you need a motivation in the beginning because it's hard to get started uh, with the points and stuff. It's easier now with the rookie rumble and stuff like that so the, the new competitions. I think uh, Taipei is an, well, an interesting city. It's uh, it's a lot different from Europe. Uh, I haven't been sightseeing much. It's mostly overclocking, uh, but it's uh, it's moving at a different pace. Like in Europe, everything is like a little slower in some ways, and uh, it's kind of nice out here. <laughs>